Hey guys, how's it going? Anthony Mutraja here, back with a new episode of Chop Builders. It's been a while since I did the last one, so yeah. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at this two variation based um, pentatonic scale idea, which I kind of use sometimes as a warm up before a gig, or it's sometimes the first thing I play when I wake up in the morning. Okay, so really slow, this is what it sounds like. Okay, this is E flat minor pentatonic. Now, a couple of things that's good about this particular uh, warm up is that it employs all the four fingers and it takes you away from just going up and down without a melodic variation. Rhythmically, we're just keeping a constant stream of 8th or 16th notes, depending on how you view it. Okay, so we're going up the pentatonic from D flat, D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat. And once we get to this D flat, we go to the F, which is the 9. Right? After the F, we go to the G flat and A flat. So over here, I'm skipping this E flat. And then come back down the same shape. Really slow. Okay, and the next shape is going up all the way to the B flat and the D flat. Instead of the F, we go to the G flat and play G flat, A flat, B flat, and then back down. Really slow. Okay, now there are two ways I like to practice this. One is alternate picking everything. And the other one is to use more of an economy picking. Okay, both of it has its um, advantages and uh, variation in sound. As opposed to with the economy picking, you can speed in things up and get a more fluid sound. With the alternate picking, you have more power and punch. So Generally, when it comes to that, if I'm treating it as a warm up purely, I do both. So my fingers on both hands are ready to play either approach of economy picking or alternate picking. In a melodic situation in a gig, um, depending on the mood, that can change. But generally, I like to practice them both as a warm up. So I'm ready for anything I want to try to execute. And like I said, it uses all four fingers. In very specific spots and areas, which doesn't involve too much stretching. So while it looks like, like quite a bit of a stretch or a motion, but actually it's not because you're using the four fingers very selectively and precisely. So that's why I like to use this as a warm up so it's just a good start to the day of the shed or before your gig or rehearsals or studio session whatever it is you're up to all right so i hope you get something out of this and um, i'll see you guys in the shed until the next one peace <laughs>